Hello everyone, this is Zabaiske beginner tutorial series number 25 and in this tutorial you are going to learn two new array method which is concat and the join function so we will be explaining that how it's work and everything we are going to do the practically also on there so let's start this video right now here okay, first we're gonna learn this about this the array concat function so how it's work the concat function is used to two array or elements in this array elements it's used to join this two array which is in array elements or it can be joined for a string and number and whatever it we have into that array element so it's have the special method in this subscript function so it's right for the concat function using to join them but this concat function using to using the concat function so array method so it helps a lot of ways so we are going to do that practically in our visual code studio then we'll be see that how it's work so let's back to your code studio okay, here you can save open my visual code studio so here you can save the basic html file and we're going to watching this live preview on the browser so i'm to create a file on our js folder and the file name is concat so i'm going to writing it concat and the join dot js now save this file and hide the left side of window now back to index.html file now we need to connect that js file which is concat and join.js now save this file so we have successfully saved it now we need to back to our this concat and join.js but before going to there i'm just going to hide this of this or title of this now you can see the live plane skin over there and this is the concat and join.js so i'm going to take a first of all a variable and this is a is equal to i'm going to creating a array methods okay this is square bracket and then i'm going to take some string over here i'm going to name take a first name which is an if and taking another name over here and which is rubaya so i take this now just i'm going to back to here and this helps a lot of way as i've already said that this concatenation helps some so a lot of ways so we're going to do that practical over there so first of all i'm going to make it a document dot write and we're going to print this document dot write and print this a which is our a variable now save this and you can see that name over here so i'm just going to make it a little bit of a small increasing of zoom so that you can perfectly okay now it's now back to here so this is the plane that array we have created so now we're going to do that concatenation over here so this I'm just going to make a fast method of this okay so I'm gonna take a variable another verb p is equal to so I'm going to make it a concatenation so p is equal to a dot we can add anything so which is our the variable dot the method you know already that in the array method this function is when you are going to using some array methods you have to make that your variable dot then your array method function then you can just implement the code so now here i'm just going to do it inside of this concat function i'm going to add value over here okay i'm going to add a value on this concat over here so i'm just going to write in a name and save this file now just going to print this out this b variable now copy this document dot write now paste this after this b variable and we just need to change the reference of this a instead of this will be b now save this file you can see it was successfully printed but it was mentioned this the previous so i need to add a break open here let's add a break so i'm going to add it as a two times so that it will be make a separate line inside of it here so there you can see that we have added a concat this name and this name was successfully displayed over here so this is first method and i'm going to do that another method over here so i have this already this a variable over here and the b variable so i want to add another one which is i'm going to take another variable which is c so bar equals c and we're going to do that this all of this a and b we want to make it there so for that i'm just need to go this here this b first of all i'm taking that b concat or we can take a, a concat so when which variable will be take pass the variable the value will be start from the pass variable so i'm just going to add a way concat okay a concat and then inside of it i'm going to add a b variable and save this file now just going to print this c variable now take it over here and change the reference which is c 
and I also need to add a break over here so that it can be make a separate line now just taking it over here and this be variable okay we need to add a plus so it will be concat and save this file so now you can see this one okay let me make a little bit of zoom in so you can see there so this is you can see that this total a and b this both of this variable value was concatenation over here so there you can see this total value it was concat and it was join this over them so now if we want to add for example you want to make some more array you want to did so i'm going to show you that again so i'm taking a var d and d equal to okay it was tm d equal to i'm just going to do it the first one a dot concat and this function inside of it so i want to print this b and c so you can make it b comma c so you know that this is the best keep the maximum this multiple value you have to separate by comma so now save this and we need to print this document dot right so i'm gonna take this one okay and it will be reference is d so let me add a break on the c line also so that it can be the separate now copy this one and paste it now save this file you can see that this d variable in this document dot d was printed which is a b and c total of our three variable has added in one line now just make me zoom out and there you can see this total of this this all of this name that whatever we have in this this three variable and the three array so this all of this name and this character it will be make one string over there and this is make completely a one line and this added this all of this value on there so this is basically concat work okay now we're going to learn this array join method that is how to use for the join function in array methods so this also used to, to join some of this in array elements or we can use to multiplication by this some example is have a array and there are a variable and this we have some string over there and we can make this in all this all of this string can be converted in one string and we can add inside of this is of this thing like comma hyphen and whatever you want so we can add it and this is very special method in the JavaScript which is the join this is join function so we're going to do that practically so let's back to our coding studio okay for the join function I'm going to using the same array as you can see there this is the same array and I'm just going to add an another name so another name string so it will be bus so this is a variety this three name in this array element we have this three element inside of this array so this is basic print so i need to save it basic print you can see that now the join method is make it this all over this text of this array element it will be make this one string over there this will be this is there you can just separate is using that comma so it can be making one string or we can add some space inside of it we can add hyphen and whatever we want so we can do it simply so we need to do it simply over here so i'm just going to add a bar b is equal to and a dot join so inside of the join function if we make it one to a space whatever we want to do that inside of the join function this will be implemented of this or array element over there so for example i want this a space of each of this line so i'm just taking inside of this on a space over there now i need to print this b over there so I'm going to write in here this document dot write and this print is which is going to using that variable this b and save this file now you can see this was successfully printed but here inside of this comma was successfully removed using join function and we have array space so you can see each of this name we have one a space over there so now if you want to add some anything else so for example I'm going to take a hyphen over there so it will be implement the hyphen is of this name so what we want example we're going to take a dollar sign and it will be add a dollar sign so let me make a space okay dollar sign so you can see it was make this space and this dollar sign is of this name element and if you want to replace that comma again so this is also the simple we can just replace the comma and it will be replace the comma is of this one there and if you don't want any comma then you can just replace the blank and it will be make total in one string and there is no comma and no space nothing is available there so this is how the concat and the join works so if you have any question about it you can give me on the comment section below and if you enjoy this tutorial please like on it and share it with your friends and please subscribe our channel to get this more tutorial just like this